Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Now in regards to finances and career, you have the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords could indicate being uh, or working around people that could be very sketchy. Uh, there is almost like they're wearing a facade or not being completely honest. This is the type of energy where a person smiles to your face and once, you know, once given the back, uh, they start spewing or saying or speaking all kind of nastiness um, about you to other people. This can also represent um, being very careful and methodical with the people that are around you uh, or where you work. Uh, there could be an opportunity that may start to arise in the month of September, but you have to be very vigil because I feel like there's going to be someone that's going to try to one-up you, that is going to try to take that opportunity, that opportunity that's opening up specifically for you. So keep an eye out for that, Sagittarius. Now, in regards to communication, how you will be communicating for the month of September, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of the Cups symbolizes going through a situation where there's still some type of hurt there. There's still some type of process that needs to happen um, with your healing Sagittarius. And this can also represent like missing someone because I do see like the bridge is, uh, you know, standing out very highly for me. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be missing a, a partner. It could be missing... Um, a child, someone that is not physically there with you at the moment. Um, but there is, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel because I feel that there is communication that will be coming through. As you guys can see here, we have a bridge, but we also see open doors on the bridge that flow. The, the water is flowing through this bridge. So again, communication will open up if this is you uh and there was recently some type of separation or ending to a relationship and you're expecting or wanting to hear back from them i do feel that there is going to be communication but then again with the seven of swords just be careful that they're not deceiving you or that they're not promising you things that they cannot um really make happen for you now in regards to the challenge here we have the nine of cups so the Nine of Cups is excessive. This is as an obstacle. It indicates being careful uh, not to over drink, overeat, uh, anything to do with addictions, anything to do with toxic traits or toxic behavior. I feel that for a lot of you Sagittarians out there, you're going through this. I, I It's almost like an overwhelming feeling of being extremely stressed. Why has life been so difficult why has life you know made life so hard for me but these are hard hard lessons that need to be learned Sagittarius because you're going into the next era of your life vibrating to a very higher frequency and the potential to manifest full emotional fulfillment is there for you but we have to work on those toxic traits that keep us from progressing or moving forward. Um, so as an obstacle, the Nine of Cups is here to tell you, be careful not to do things in over excess. If there is addictions, whether it be through pills, whether it be through alcoholism, overeating, anything like that, now is the time to really get help. Really seek out help or seek advice from professionals or people that can help you to be able to cut those ties to that toxic behavior and be able to walk towards a more purpose, uh, purposeful life, um, to walk towards more possibilities of abundance and finding stability in your life. Now, in regards to love and romance, we have the Ten of Swords. So yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, you're going through a situation where there could have been some type of betrayal, some type of hurt. Um, a person really backstabbing you as I do have the Ten of Swords here too. The positive here is that the Ten of Swords is right at the end. So you've overcame this. This has already happened. 
And for some of you guys, this could be talking about a situation that you've been dealing with for many years now. For others of you, it could have been as recent as up to a month. Um, but do not, do not doubt that there is a higher purpose for this. The reason I say that is because we have here this rune card which is on Zeus. And what this represents, it is literally from the mouth of God. So what I mean by that is this is all to do with seeking answers, uh, enlightenment, uh, banishing fear with knowledge. It's all about improving communication, but also spiritual, spiritual clarity and wisdom. And we get spiritual clarity and wisdom through experience. No one else will ever teach us the lessons that life is going to teach us. Um, until we go through those difficulties that makes us uh, find our purpose or that makes us or leads us to the person that is going to bring to us emotional fulfillment or finding that self-love and knowing our worth and not settling for anything less than what we deserve. Okay, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.